Here's what the narcissist will do to break you if you keep saying no. We're glad you're here for today's episode, in which we'll talk about narcissists' tricks and ways to get what they want. I'll talk about three ways that narcissists try to make us look bad. Narcissists come into our lives with a single goal of taking everything we have, and they don't mind destroying anything in their way. They use the power of love and kindness to control and dominate their victims. When you're with a narcissist, you'll start to feel worse and worse over time. This is because the narcissist is an emotional black hole, and being close to them makes you feel like you're being sucked in and crushed. You don't have to look for certain words, dilated pupils, or traits from the DSM-5. The most reliable sign that you're dealing with a narcissist is the feeling that unhappiness is slowly seeping into your core. They're continually looking for their prey. Those who want money, power, and influence will do whatever it takes to get it. They pose as nice people or victims to gain our trust before betraying it. Their purpose is to keep us scared and obedient. They'll do anything to get their way. Even among their closest friends, narcissists want social dominance. Narcissists desire to be seen or praised in a way that sets them different, whether in a family, career, or social group. Those in a group tend to go for the most influential members and get to know them. While dating you, they may try to mimic your greatest qualities and appear to share your values. But the narcissist doesn't want to compete with you on a level playing field. Their main goal is to either steal or take over someone else's power, status, or influence. As I've said before, narcissists prey on both the powerful and the weak. People who have never been in an abusive relationship or don't know much about it are more likely to fall first. This means that the narcissist looks at everyone. After they've gotten in, their goal hasn't changed. They'll start thinking of ways to make you do what they think is right. If they can, they will attack you and do anything to get rid of you. These things could happen in any order or even at the same time. But one thing is certain, they will. The narcissist will do whatever it takes to get as much power as possible. When a narcissist wants to get close to you, one of the first things they will look for is who you know. Narcissists who only care about themselves can ruin any relationship they get their hands on, whether it's a friendship or a family tie by making a case against anyone you think of as a friend or family member. Their goal is to show that they are the ones you can trust. It's a way to push people away from you if you make them suspicious of people they think are too close to you. The narcissist wants everyone to be on their side. So, when a narcissist takes advantage of you, you can't get help from anyone else because they only want to talk to you. The second attack is on your sense of self-worth. They would look at every move you make and judge it harshly. When a narcissist can go from making you feel good about yourself to make you feel bad about yourself, it always comes as a surprise. Because they can do this and do it so well, it suggests that their criticisms and devaluations must also have some truth to them, even if they suddenly change their behavior and do the opposite. In addition to what you say, people would look at how you act and how you look. In the end, you wonder if what you're going through is real. If they want to make you question your sanity and abilities, they'll get you to believe things that aren't true. They will look at you in a way that is embarrassing or rude. It's not hard for them to get mad at you or irritated by you. Instead of helping you get better, they'll do everything they can to bring you down. They will not care about what you have to say. Because of this, you'll start to doubt your own worth, beauty, and intelligence. The narcissist will only try to hurt your mental health if nothing else works. As soon as you are in their presence, they accuse you of putting yourself down, hurting relationships, and making people look at you differently. They have been putting their attention on this. These activities put a lot of stress on your body and mind. Narcissists generate toxic, uncomfortable environments. Narcissists might be nice one day and angry, despondent, and silent the next. They may stop talking to you or ignore you. They went from angel to demon in hours without explanation. Instantly, they go from happy to sad. It might be mentally draining to avoid insulting and upsetting a narcissist. Narcissists don't affect others' life. They do it to test our thoughts. High stress can affect mental clarity over time. 
Mental stress affects physical health. Stress impairs judgment and decision-making, making you more deceptible. Don't worry, this is all part of the narcissist's plan to make you weak and give them power over you. It's not about your body, but about your mind. The narcissist is interested in what you say. When your mind is broken, they will have complete control over you. Also, none of this is possible unless you trust the narcissist completely. All of this was done to try to get us to like them, and it turns out that this is exactly why they did it. They try hard to make us think that they are the answer to our prayers, or that they are good people who can be trusted in the real world. As soon as they have us, they plan to hurt us by making us think a false image is real. Narcissists need your attention more than anything. They want to know how you're doing. Because of this, I will never tell you to make a deal with them. No matter what you give the narcissist, they will never be happy. They don't think the sacrifices that have been made for them are worth it, because they only care about themselves. They will keep telling people lies and stories about you. When you meet someone with a poisonous personality, it's best to keep your distance. It would be better if they had never heard of you before. It is out of the question to introduce this person to anyone important in your life, like close friends or family members. You should also be aware of the narcissist's closest friends and family. We need to do more to make sure our own and other people's health. A narcissist will try to break you by going after your relationships, self-worth, and confidence. I hope this information was helpful to you. As a way of saying thank you, I appreciate the time you took to watch and, more importantly, hear what I had to say. Please share your thoughts and experiences in the comments section below. To make sure you don't miss any new videos, subscribe to this channel and turn on the bell. Thank you very much.